I legitimately go into every slate thinking I got the nuts and that I'm going to take down every contest I'm in. I honestly believe that in the, in the bowels of my heart that I have the nuts. Doesn't matter what platform it's on, doesn't matter what slate it is. When it comes to NBA DFS, I feel in my heart that I have the nuts. I want somebody to, I need somebody to help me understand what Julius Randle was doing tonight. That's what I want to know. I want to know when he gave up the team and gave it to R.J. Barrett. That's what I want to know. Because he should have sent us the memo. <laughs> Could have sent out an email or something. Because that would have drastically helped us not play him today. Bobby Portis I get. Bobby Portis is a bench player filling in for a center. He's going to have good days or bad days playing next to Giannis. I get that. I, I don't know what I don't know what Julius Randle's excuse was for tonight. I really don't. Nurkic is another one. You know, I have my utility spot. I had seven K in my utility spot, and I thought I was onto something with a seven K Nurkic. And I don't do this, I don't do this often when it comes to DFS, especially NBA DFS, which is a grind. I made a mistake, put in, put in Nurkic instead of um, Simons in that utility spot. I made a, I, I made a, I made a mistake. Everything else I'll eat. But I made a mistake on DraftKings. But what are you gonna do? I will never play Julius. Listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. Not only did I play Julius Randle on Yahoo, I had Sabonis in and replaced him with Randle because he was a few bucks cheaper. What a Monday night! Listen, it's NBA DFS for you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to our NBA show for Tuesday, January 11th. We have a six-game slate. We're gonna we're gonna get into it. We're gonna dig into it. Try not to make this a long video. I just had to express my feelings about Mr. Julius Randle, who came out of the NBA gate. As an all-star and he's going into the all-star break as not an all-star definitely not an all-star so what are you gonna do well we're gonna start with DraftKings and we're gonna start with some bona fide all-stars such as Seth, Seth. Steph Curry 10-7 good price He's got his man back, Clay Thompson. He's rejuvenated. Curry's in play. We got Van Fleet in play. Van Fleet, the man of the hour. Van Fleet's absolutely in play. I need somebody to help me understand why why would Bradley Beal be more a higher salary than Charles Morant? Twenty-four points, four rebounds, six assists a game. Is Bradley Beal even an all-star? He might be. Last four games, 43, 30, 34, and 37. Fantasy points, 57, 44, 39, and 40. 
he's serviceable. He's not a bad play. He just shouldn't be more money than John Moran. John Moran is 24, almost 25, 6 points, almost 7 assists. John Moran and Bradley Beal's numbers are almost identical, but John Morant, John Morant, um, he sparks his team with his plays. Um, 34, 34, 25 and 31 minutes, 55, 48, 30, 41 and 35 fantasy points. He had a, he had a, um, a, a, uh, Average night as far as fantasy points wise, I won't say it's bad. 35 fantasy points is never bad, but up to, for his standards, they weren't good. I'll go right back to the well. 8900 for John Morant is a crime. He's too cheap, and he's not gonna have two subpar games in a row. Tom Rent is more than likely going to make my lineup. Unless something, you know, extraordinary pops up. So, Curry's in play. Everybody's in play so far. Booker's in play at 86. Decent price. Russell's in play against the Pelicans. Chris Paul is in play at 7,700. 26, 35, 34, 32 minutes. Last four games, 40, 40, 56, and 22. He also had another subpar game. Um, what I would do, if I play Chris Paul, I run it back with Van Fleet. Or if I play Van Fleet, I run it back with Chris Paul. You want to catch these guys after a bad game when everybody's going to be off of them. That's what we did with Whiteside today. Did anybody play Whiteside? If you had the balls to play white side, let me know in the comments. Cause I knew I knew people in my contest, um, white side was over fifty percent owned, so he wasn't like any type of a revelation. But I knew at some point he had to go off. All right, we got SG at seventy six. That looks good. Lonzo at sixty eight looks good. Then we fine. Then we even playing better. Um, 34, 42, 31, and 31 minutes. 29, 51, 31, and 26 fantasy points. Dinwiddie's in play. Jackson's in play. Graham's in play. Kobe White's in play. Bledsoe's in play. Poole, not so much. Man's in play. How many is Corey Joseph really playing? 24, 25. Okay, so we got 25, 42, 24, and 25 minutes. 19, 44, 21, and 29 fantasy points. How do you know that that point guard rotation of Detroit? I mean, you got Corey Joseph, Killian Hayes, Saban Lee, and they're all getting minutes. He had 12. Saban Lee had 12. Killian Hayes had 23, and Corey Joseph had. 25. I'm not playing no point guard that's in a three man rotation. You can miss me with that. Let's continue. Corey Joseph is not a bad play, but he's not for me. Monte Morris is in play. Smell and doing these days. 21, 23, 19 minutes. 27, 34, 14 fantasy points. He's a tournament play. He's a tournament play. Um, NAW. Wait, hold on. All right, we got Melton, Gary Payton, I and play Composo. If you know Denver's rotations, you can play him. If you don't, don't play him. Campaigns and play Tyus Jones. I believe started. 25, 20, 30, and 16. 17, 25, 30, and 17 fantasy points. 
got to pay attention to Memphis starting lineup. They have a lot of decent players that could put up fantasy points, so pay attention to starting lineups and rotations when playing any Grizzly other than Morant and um, Jaron Jackson. Um, when this was out, Killing Hayes, not for me. Ty Jerome, not with Shai, healthy. Sabin Lee, no thank you. I think that's about it. Alright, we got shooting guard. Okay, Levine's in play. Ingram's too cheap. Anthony Edwards is too cheap. Cunningham looks like he's getting his groove back. 38 minutes, 50 fantasy points. What I say the last video, let him, let him find himself, and then we'll get back to him. Well, he found himself, and we're coming back to you. Diallo, what did he do today? He's still priced too high. 24 minutes, 30 fantasy points, two steals. Steel Master. Why you got Amadou Diallo in the 7K range? I don't get it. Baines is in play. Clay Thompson might be a play tomorrow. I think he played. I think he played. Yeah, he played 20 minutes. 24 fantasy points. He didn't hit value, but. I think I'll probably give him another game. He's gonna need like 36 fantasy points. He's coming off of an injury where they babied him for forever. I don't think they're gonna ramp up his uh, minutes just like that. I'll give him a little bit of time before I play him. Um, Mikhail is in play. Bridges, that is. Gary Trent's in play. Dort. Caldwell Pope. Not for me. What else do we have here? Frank Jackson. He's another guard on Detroit. I'm not even looking at him. Um, Beasley is in play. I believe Patrick Beverly is injured. 20 minutes. Nah, I ain't going to play him for 20 minutes. Too many players playing to want to have to play Beasley for 20 minutes. Patrick Beverly. He's questionable. Yeah. Okay, where are we? the rest of them down here. Neil Walker hasn't been playing much. I think that's it. No rush to get value so long before um, lock. So we'll get our value during the day with the injuries and the protocols and all that good stuff. Kuzma looks crazy. Crazy expensive but he's in play. 41, 44, 35, and 38 minutes. 66, 40, 43, and 59 fantasy points. My man had 22. <laughs> Kyle Kuzma had 22 rebounds and 27 points. Wait, let me see something. Let me look at this again. Kyle Kuzma had 22 fantasy points. 22 rebounds. So what do you need Gafford for? Um, Kuzma's in play. Sadiq Bay looks pricey. He's in play. 27, 32, 36, and 37. 19, 12, 29, and 41 fantasy points. He's going to need about almost 40 fantasy points to pay this off. He's in play. But he's facing Chicago, so I don't know how you guys are going to play that. Giddy's in play. Morris is in play. Andrew Wiggins takes a step back. 30 to 16 fantasy points. I mean, Clay Thompson took 18 shots in 20 minutes. What do you think he's going to do in 24 minutes? Um, Andrew Wiggins is off the table. Josh Hart's in play. OG's in play. Kyle Anderson, um, he hasn't done anything special that I know. 
He did have 42 fantasy points last night. 6 for 11, 7 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 blocks, 2 steals. That's what he does, but that's few and far between. Uh, when was the last time he had a 40 point game? December 15th. So, if you want a game chase, have at it. I'm not chasing Kyle Anderson. Aaron Gordon at 4,900 is okay. Garrett Temple, if he starts for some reason, he's okay. That's about it. We're going to power forward. The Rosen's price just came down. The Rosen looks like a very good. Um, he's at a very good salary. Jaron Jackson Jr. price went up against Golden State. And probably, I'll probably pass on that. Scotty Barnes is okay at 66. Vanderbilt, a little too pricey at 62. He took a lot of shots the last game. 31 minutes, 14 shots. He took 19 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 blocks, 2 steals. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be tough pain. 62 for him, but he grabs a lot of rebounds. I told you about him. I've been telling you about Vanderbilt. Um, I'll pass on Boucher. Clark. I don't think he had a good game last game. Even though I was anticipating him getting 16 because they gave Tillman more minutes. He still was alright, 16 minutes, 23 fantasy points, but that's not going to get it done for us. Um, Herbert Jones is in play, Jalen Smith not so much. McGee is back, Trey Laws is in play. 24, 26, 28, 29 minutes, 27, 42, 31 fantasy points. Trey Laws is in play. Um, there's enough, there's enough mid, mid-tier players, and some decent 5,000 players and high 4,000s that you don't really have to dig in the garbage for any of these plays. Everyone here is uncertain, so why do it to yourself? Let's, um, find a center and then we can make a lineup. Jokic is in play, Towns is in play, $2,000 left. Less. Siakam is a center now. Okay, whatever. Vooch is in play at 91 at 9. Junis at 85. That he's going to dominate the front court of Minnesota. 8 in a 7 2. Decent price. Gafford is 6 2. Not playing Gafford at 6 2. And his power forward is grabbing 22 rounds. Should be ashamed of himself. Adams is in play. Not touching Zubak. Trey Lyles is fine. Harold is back. Gafford is absolutely off the table now. Isaiah Stewart, he's not getting as much as many minutes with Lyles there. Um Precious of True is doing what? Lucky if he gets twenty minutes. 18, 16, 18, 7. 27, sorry. 19, 16, 18, 27 minutes, 19, 25, 19, and 22 minutes. A $3,800 center playing 27 minutes is amazing, but we don't know if he's going to get that. If he starts, you can play him, but his ceiling is not going to be that, that high. And if you're new to DFS and you don't know what ceiling means, ceiling is what's the opportunity or what's the chances of that this player scoring you know way past his his, his value threshold so if it's if he's five thousand dollar salary and he he has the opportunity to give you 40 45 50 fantasy points you say he has a high ceiling if he's a you know if he's um serge abaca for four thousand and you know he might play 10 minutes and give you 8 fantasy points, then you say he has a low floor. Because you know the possibility of him shitting the bed is high. So low floor, high ceiling, that's how it works. So 
Jokic has a high ceiling. Jokic has a high floor. His the, the probability of him not paying off his price tag and, and having a very low score is very is very low. The, the probability of him getting 60, 70, 80 fantasy points is high because he has a high ceiling. So that's how that works. All right. So um, I really only have about two two people that stand out to me so far. So um, let's see what happens. Power forward. Light rose in. Shooting small forward. I did like BI eighty two. I like Ingram and I like Anthony Edwards. Literally have Morant, Edwards, Ingram, the Rosen. Now I need a value play. And now you play. Do we get cute with Trey Lyles at 4900? Wow. Um, I want to say. Something happened in this game, Detroit game on the six. Um, my man had 14 rebounds in 22 minutes. I'm gonna take Adams for now, but that's only because the line of construction. So, you know, don't be in the con the comments crying about me playing Stephen Adams. He just helps my lineup at the moment. Until we get more value, then I'll update it as usual. Obviously, if you're a Patreon member, you'll get the updated lineup. If you sign up for a day pass, you'll get the updated lineup. And if you are on a weekly pass, you'll get the updated lineup, obviously. But this is just my, what I like so far. And Adams is a bridge for me, meaning that he's a he's in a position where his, his salary is low. And he will help me get the players that I want. And himself too gives me an opportunity to do some something decent because nobody on Golden State is going to really stop him. Yes, they have a good team defense. Yes, Draymond might be out, which is an advantage to Adam. So this might be a good play right here. So that's just the way I'm looking at it right now. Okay, okay. All right, boys and girls, if you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell. Thumbs up the video, let you two know that you appreciate me breaking down the NBA slate. That helps. That helps me by YouTube circulating the video for new viewers. We've been getting new viewers every day, not new viewers, but new viewers and new new subscribers. So you guys are helping me, and I appreciate it. So that's why I'm taking the time to try to break down every person that I like. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. And we build, we build this, this, this thing we're building. Let's continue. Um, Kyrie's 10-8, kind of pricey. Morant is 9-9. I'm looking. If I play, if I play Kyrie, I'm coming back with Morant. Open for a duel. It's gonna be pricey, so you need value. Um, what am I doing? Okay. Van Fleet 9-7. Chris Paul 8-1. Levine is too cheap. Why is Levine so cheap? Oh yeah, he's been playing well. One thing about Levine, he's always gonna put you in. A, he's always gonna play minutes and give you an opportunity. Demar Derozan is 8200. I wonder who fell off the bed and bumped their head. Too many good mid plays. The rose, you know what? What you're hoping for is Detroit to play, um, to play. You're looking for Detroit to play, um, play, uh, 
play well, keep this game close. That's what you're hoping for. Man, if I could get Cunningham at small at point guard, that would be amazing. Look what we just did here. Look at this. If we keep this game close, then we're in the money. All right, let's go to power forward. Kuzma's 88. OG 67. Vanderbilt is 63 against New Orleans. They have a bad interior defense. I think Vanderbilt is a good play, but let me just see if I see anything else. Uh, Shamara, no thank you. Aaron Gordon at 5100 is fine. Montrezl Harrell, you think he's going to get his 20 minutes? He wasn't looking too good before he left, so let's see what, what notes they got on him. Washington Wizards Ford. Harrell conditional will play Tuesday against Oklahoma. He will make a return to get the Thunder and extended absence while on health protocols in a match against the Thunder unit. Ranked 14th in defense. Our model could drive out for 23 fantasy points. So, get this straight. $4,900. You're expecting him to get 23 fantasy points. OKC is a bad rebounding team. I'm going to play him. Right now, for now, I'm gonna put him in the team. I think he should dominate them, dominate them on the boards, and dominate them on the paint. And he's cheap enough where we can still do what we want to do um, in this lineup. So, Cat looks amazing. Valajunas looks amazing. Should we run it back with Valajunas? Is that what we're doing? I could run this back with Valajunas, and I could still, well not run it back, I could play Valajunas and run it back with one of the the wings on Minnesota, and still have money left over, look at that. So I have a game plan. Uh, Harrell is a one-off, my two Bulls, my one Piston, my Pelican. And then in one of these wing spots, I'll throw in a, a, a Timberwolf or even throw in um, Brandon Ingram, depending on my line of construction. So I have some sort of plan to go into the battle later today. All right, so that's DraftKings, that's FanDuel. We're about to do Super Draft next. If you're leaving, because you don't play Super Draft to Yahoo, thank you for being here. Um, remember, um, if you need help with uh, your lineups, if you need real, real crazy ex extended help because NBA is moving too fast for you, check out my Patreon, check out the NBA package, bronze package. If you don't need that much help, you want a day pass, see what type of lineups I make through the day pass, you could DM me on Twitter for that. And if you need a week pass, same thing, DM me on Twitter for that. And we'll get talking business. Once again, thank you for being here. On your way out, please hit that uh, subscribe, thumbs up, hit the bell. And you super draft people, we'll go to super draft. Okay, so we have no real value yet. So when we don't have value for super draft, you want, you're looking for a little bit of a multiplier and share volume. So, like DeRozan, Levine, 1.25 multiplier, Russell, Chris Paul, add people like that. So, you know what they're going to do. You don't got to really worry yourself. Um, Cunningham is a bit of a risk, but he does a little bit of everything. I'll take that risk. So, we're doing Cunningham at a 1.45. Um, our forward, Kuzma looks good. DeRozan looks good. Ingram looks good. Um, I would play Ingram over Siakam because Van Fleet done took over. As a matter of fact, where is Van Fleet at? Is he at a Van Fleet is a 1.15. Moran is a 1.1. Lonzo Ball. 
to dominate the trade tomorrow. I'm gonna play. Let me play Wazo with Peripheals. And let's pick up a center. Jokic 1, Cat 1.1, Root Trial Juniors 1.2. So definitely gonna be one of the top guys. I'll stick to Joker. So Super Draft, Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, and Yusuf Nurkic. I'm sorry. Yo Kitch. Yo Kitch. What's going on with me? Alright, so we're gonna pick our value plays or our top plays for Yahoo and then we're out of here. Once again, if you're watching the video, thank you for being here. Um So we're going to do probably, I like Dinwiddie, Dinwiddie looks, you know what, we're going, let's do Steph, let's do Steph, small forward, small forward, we're going to do Anthony Edwards is 34. Josh Hart is 27. Um, OG is 27. Alright, hold on a second, guys. Let me go to my cheat sheet. Because that's what it's for. So let's see what my sheet sheet has a big place for Yahoo. And we're talking Tuesday six games. And yeah, I have a bunch of bunch of scrubs here. Okay, so we're gonna do let's see something. It likes Devontae Graham at 18. Small forward, we like. Marcus Morris at 23. And at center. 30 and 56. Valajunas. So those are going to be my three value plays. For Yahoo. Um, obviously, like like with DraftKings and FanDuel, if you're on the if you if you're signed up for a day pass today, you'll get the updated version of this lineup. If you are on a week pass, which some of you are on, you'll get the updated version. Probably not gonna look like this, but you get the updated version at the same time. And um, if you're a Patreon member, you already know the deal. So. Um, Thank you guys for being here. Any comments, any questions, throw it in the chat. If you need to speak to me about a day pass or a week pass or any questions about Patreon. The Twitter is Twitter is um linked in the in the YouTube. Also the Twitter handle will be in the thumbnail. And I think that's about it. Once again, hope you had a productive day. Hope you had a profitable night. Hope you didn't play Julius Randle like a dumbass like me. If you played, I think I said if you played Julius Randle, I want to know. And, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.